I woke up one day and literally felt like if I don't make a big change now, I'm not going to be here in 10 years. I was good at projecting a very positive image, but internally, you know, the confidence just wasn't there. I couldn't stand up but maybe an hour or two and couldn't walk far at all. I couldn't even make it around the grocery store without needing to sit down. I have a 10-year-old son. I wanted to be able to run. I wanted to be able to play, have more energy. Um, I wanted to feel good about myself. My health was declining. I was still having problems with gout and inflammation and I finally had blood clots which really let me know that my health was really getting to a point where I needed to do something about it. We all know obesity is a medical problem but many times people believe that being overweight is their fault. In fact obesity is a chronic disease that occurs in conjunction with many medical problems including high blood pressure, diabetes, and cholesterol. It can lead to joint pain, sleep apnea, and affect your mental health. Obesity can rob a person of up to 10 years of their life. I knew I needed to do something about it. I tried diet and exercise, wasn't getting the results I needed. I could lose a little bit of weight, but I could never get over the hump. I could never figure out how to cut out more calories or more fat, um, and it just didn't work for me. If you consistently stick to most any diet, you'll get weight off. The problem is, none of these diets are able to keep the weight off long term. When we're heavy, when we have on more weight than we want, the patient's engine, a term known as their resting metabolic rate, is running really fast to burn off all those extra calories. But when we diet and we lose lots of weight, the body specifically slows that engine down to make it so that it doesn't burn nearly as many calories. And as a result, it leads for most patients to put weight back on over time. The only thing that we know that has a dramatic impact on it is bariatric surgery. And it does that by regulating all the hormones in our body. Since the surgery, I have lost over 100 pounds. Pre-surgery, I was 278 pounds, and I have lost 140 pounds. At this date of surgery, they weighed me at 390 and I weigh 218 now. Before my surgery, I was 246, and I am now 190. I was weighing at 534 when I had my surgery. Now I am 389, and I'm doing well.